What's going on guys? So as you know, I have moved into a little bit of a bigger shop, but if you can hear the echo, it is still not giant. Uh, the shop is 12 foot wide and the interior is only about 28 foot long. So I've got a lot of length, but not a lot of width. So space is at a premium in this shop. So one of the big things to me is that I don't have everything in here at floor level. My last tiny shop, I didn't have any storage. I didn't have ways to put things on levels off the ground. And I just run out of room. When you're putting everything on the floor, that's what happens. So I have been extremely, extremely busy uh, between a just a handful of projects, to be honest. I've got about 10 things going on at once. Uh, and one of the issues I was running into is I needed to get my lathe off of my workbench or the miter bench and off of the floor as well. I needed that space to move other stuff around. And also I needed to kind of consolidate everything with the lathe. I'd like to be able to move the thing out to the roll up door and turn if I would like on a pretty day and not be stuck right here on this little bench where I can't get very many camera angles for one. And two, I just, I didn't like the setup. And it also was causing me to lose a lot of space in the floor. This was a long, this is a long lathe. It's not a gigantic footprint, but it had to stick out, out from underneath the miter table or miter saw station that I have rigged up for now. And that was a major problem to me. I got tired of kicking it, it being on the floor. I've got to lift it up every time I do it, every time I need to turn something. So I wanted to challenge myself. I gave myself an hour and a half to two hours max. I've got so much going on, I could not afford to put any more effort into that. And also I wanted to use some of the supplies and scraps, I guess you'd call it, of things I have around the shop. Uh, I had some extra plywood laying around. I had a few extra lengths of four by four, as well as a few casters. So I wanted to challenge myself to make a functional space saving lathe cart in about two hours. Now I didn't design this on SketchUp or anything like I normally would do. And also the back is a little cluttered, but that's gonna change once the pin turner's cart is made later on, as the pin turner's cart will take some of the tooling away and have dedicated spots and drawers for it. And honestly, this might get repurposed after that into something else, I don't know yet. But anyway, I wanted to just build something super quick, super fast, and super strong. The big thing with me is I turn things at, at ingrain turning sometimes, and if any of you have ever turned anything before, it vibrates a lot. So this needed to have, for sure, some strength. I didn't want this thing tipping over or moving around. So it was a challenge, but this is what I came up with.
So there, guys, that is a two-hour build to build a monstrosity of a lathe cart. This thing is rock solid. It actually even impressed me. Uh, I had to kind of come up with some problem-solving ideas on the fly, but it worked out really, really well, and it is really nice being able to move my lathe up underneath some of the storage on the pegboards and it'd be out of the way. It opened up honestly about six or eight inches, which doesn't seem like much, but when you're working with a space already only 12 uh, foot wide, then you know an extra foot is a lot of space. So this helped out honestly a lot. It also allowed me to get my router plane jig for the lathe underneath as well as a place to store the router it, it just kind of was able to consolidate most of the lathe stuff to one area and not only that but like i said if i want to go turn and do something outside i can roll this thing out the ramp on the back door and turn outside if i want to open up the back door the roll-up door and turn up whatever a bowl or a cup or whatever I want to turn and not have all the mess inside, then I can do that. Uh, and like I said, space saving and having on multiple layers, it gave some more storage to where I could get things off the floor and it just opened everything up. So I hope you guys have enjoyed the video and I hope you enjoyed the build. Uh, leave a comment down below if you would like some plans for something like this. I'll throw some plans together and get them up on the website. Uh, I, like I said, I didn't sketch this up. I just kind of threw it together and I challenged myself to only spend about two hours on this. And that was including the design. So that being said, guys, let me know in the comments if you like it. Let me know in the comments if you'd be interested in just an easy set of plans. I'll throw them up on the website if you guys are. And I really appreciate it, guys. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. Make sure you hit the notification bell. I know I haven't been putting out a whole lot of content lately. I have been extremely swamped. Uh, the move into this new shop that I thought was going to take a couple of weeks has taken two to three months. Uh, and getting this shop actually workable to where I can actually move around in the space. If any of you guys build stuff, you know that if you can't move around in the space and properly work, you're just spinning your wheels. So I've, it's been a challenge, but Everything's coming together finally, and I'm going to start getting some content out to you guys. I hope you've enjoyed everything, and I'll see you guys on the next one.